to your girlfriend? Ask me another question. I dare you. I have seen you with a bat. It's not impressive, Karen or Beth or whatever your real name is. You never smile or, or ask anyone how they're doing. That's why people don't want to eat with you or even be around you. You must be a very hard woman to love. I know that you're so nosy about my life because yours is so basic. So you obsess over those kids. You beg them to need you so your life has purpose. They are not they get my a trophy, purpose. You get a trophy. You are wrong. But you know deep down inside, you know how meaningless your life is without them. I hate my kids. I hate them. And I hate being a mother. I hate it. I hate myself for hating them. Every time I hope it'll work. But they're still there when I get home. I just want to run away forever. Me too. My name is Annalise Keating. Why is she telling her that? Isn't she going to get found out? People think I murdered my husband, but I didn't. But I helped cover it up. What is she doing right now? Shit, is the police there? You see it happen? See what? Somebody died? Stan went aggro at breakfast. He beat up a cook because they ran out of bacon. <laughs> I guess he was the one that blew, not you. Took some melatonin last night, made me loopy. Hey. I think I was just making things Annalise, up. Annalise, I see you. And I love you. Gonna hit the pillow. You're not ugly. You're not disgusting. You're not a slut. You're not dirty. You're not spoiled. You're not a monster. You deserve to be left and judged and slapped. You, you deserve to be free. I want out. I want out. Forgive yourself, at least. Forgive yourself, at least. Because I forgive you. I forgive you! 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 Stop it! I don't have any toilet paper. However, and yes, there is a however. Laurel's gone. What? She took Christopher and disappeared without a word. And I don't know where they went or if they're ever coming back, even though she's my friend, my best friend. I need you to promise that you'll never ghost me or lie to me or break up with me without an actual grown-up explanation. Because if you do, I'll cut this off and introduce it to a garbage disposal. I'm here for you. Long term. Now you can kiss me. Take what you give I still don't trust him. Not even Is he as suspicious of Tegan, I guess? She come home? Kind of rehab works in one week. I had to ask for a ride so I wouldn't go straight to a bar. <laughs> JK, JK. Seriously. You okay? <laughs> no. London and me ruled it a heart attack. No foul play. See, it's a good thing I'm back. You all need me. Home. Um, come by in and. Uh, I forgot I told Connor and Oliver I'd cook dinner tonight. Oh. Uh, you want me to come? When's his mom gonna show up? I'm still waiting for her to pop up. <laughs> and just like you should. Mm, no UVA law sad. student has time to watch TV. Unless you dropped out on me. Of course not. Who's gonna win us reparations if not me? Hmm. Graduate with honors. We'll see if I buy that. We could have beat out all of the guilt and the shame and the lies and the fear. We're gonna bury all of it, even Laurel. Consider this her funeral. No. 
Laurel needs us. No, she's never needed us, Michaela. She's always been able to take care of herself. And we have to take care of ourselves. Now I'm going to the police to report her missing. That's already happened, Michaela. Frank and Bonnie are with the police right now. Nursery, upstairs. No more reject, no more loser, no more deuce face. You're a good man, Atcher. You hear me? You're a good man. You're a good man, Atcher. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. None of it. I'm not a killer. I'm not a monster. I'm not the devil. There's good in me. There's good in me. There's so much damn good. Oh, goodness. We got in there. Why did she have that? Oh, boy. I'm scared. I'm not a little boy. Someone plotting to kill Anne Luce? Laurel's gone, I choose me. Happy? You clawed your way from nothing to get here. All on your own. I wanna be happy! I deserve to be happy! I choose me! I choose me! So goodbye, Laurel! You're dead to me! You're dead to me! You're dead to me! You're dead to me! But we feel even better if you told Michaela the truth. I should stop. Oh, bringing what? this up what? now? Somebody talk! And at least knew your birth father. If that's true, I'm gonna kill you. Even though the journey in this life has ended, Everybody kill Annalise. we pleased God to take our dearly departed. We ask you, O oh Lord, to lift up our dearly departed Annalise and give her peace. Amen. I see nobody. <laughs> That's where I'm going with that. I don't see a body, so they can just fuck off with the whole Annalise is dead thing. Okay. I'm not saying she's not going to die. Someone's not going to kill her. But usually when they show this kind of stuff, it's a mid-season finale kind of thing. And then there's another extra whole story that goes for the finale finale. Um, I mean, they may do things differently with this season because it's the last season they may hold all this off to the end i don't know but coffin was closed it was just a picture no body no death okay that's what i'm just gonna say i'm gonna say that right now so you you can say she's dead but until i see her dead body then i'm not gonna believe that she actually is um so this episode was pretty depressing I'm not gonna lie it had me depressed through a lot of it, but um, I was glad to see that Annalise was trying to get some help. She hit rock bottom pretty hard and um, ended up in the hospital and asked Bonnie to help her get some help. So she did. I mean, she obviously didn't get enough help. She only stayed there for apparently it was just a week. Um, nobody really knows what happened with Laurel. It seems to me like they think she took off on her own. And um, took Christopher, which I still like to know how she did that. We didn't see her, so I have no idea if this is true or not. I didn't I thought maybe they might show us her and see what's going on with her? Like either she's in some kind of distress or she's happy somewhere. Um, but we didn't see any of that, so I don't know. Um, Gabriel's mom is in town. She's not letting Gabriel know. She's got some kind of thing on Sam. I don't know if she, these are just like old keepsakes that she just takes with her everywhere from when their marriage, you know, um, ended and everything. That could be all it is, but it also could be something else. And somebody else is informing her of Annalise. Don't know who it is, but, um, I'm thinking maybe she might be there to 
take care of Annalise. I don't know. Um, Michaela and Gabriel finally hooked up. We'll see what happens with that. Um, Gabriel so far still seems like he's uh, trustworthy, maybe? I don't know. I can't trust anybody. Tegan, I think she killed Emmett. I mean, that end there, you know, with her tossing his glasses. I didn't really hear what she said, but I think she said, boy, bye, or something like that. I don't know. But that didn't seem like something a friend would do. And I've had my suspicions of her since last season, toward the end. Like, the last couple episodes just had me, like, highly suspicious of her. And it didn't, and it didn't end. And, um, I don't know, maybe my suspicions are right. Maybe they're right about her. Maybe she did murder him. Maybe her and uh, Jorge were some kind of friends. Um, which would be weird that she would turn him in. You know. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just really confused about the situation. Because Nate was looking up Tegan in Mexico City and you saw her with Jorge. Right? Is his name Jorge? Maybe it's, I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, Laurel's father. And, um, so, I mean, like, how far, long, like, was that? Is that how they met? Is that how he ended up, you know, trusting her company or the company that she worked in, you know, for his thing? I don't know. It's just really confusing, but she's highly suspicious still. And, um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. And... Annalise, I feel bad for her. She really deserves to be happy. And if she really does die, then that's just sucky. It just really sucks. But, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I didn't see a body. So I ain't gonna say that she did. Um, I think that's it. Really? I don't think there's really much anything... I don't think there's really anything else to talk about. Sorry, I can't talk. It's like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.